good morning good morning happy vlogmas day six yeah day six sorry happy vlogmas day six i am up and i was watching the sherry shepherd show that's my like talk show that i watch i used to if you guys know i love the real that was my jam like baby the real what but since they cut the reel off um i had to find something else so i found the sherry shepherd show and i've been a fan ever since um but yeah i'm about to make my coffee and my bagel meet some people on my team in a little bit so we're on time somewhat you follow me on instagram which if you don't girl what you doing i post my coffee after my devotional every day it's something I started years ago, and I don't know, I just do it. So I just use my little piece, <laughs> piece, and can y'all see? No. So can you see? Okay. So I am in the car. Um, I'm so zoomed in. That's so weird. Whatever. Um, I'm in the car. Um, I'm actually on time, and everyone's running late. Like late. Ugh, I should have curled my hair this morning. Should have curled my hair. I have to stop thinking that like I could just like wake up and go. Cause maybe this is looking a mess. That's the one thing whenever i have layers i'll be like i could just wake up and go like zhuzh it like no ma'am you need to curl your hair one person is here but the other person isn't so like i'm in my car because i can wait i have to take my car to the dealership today because it's making this like weird turny noise um and yeah so my appointment is at 12 30 so this is gonna have to only only have like an hour for them eh maybe an hour and a half let me see how far it is from here it's 30 minutes so i really need to be done with this in an hour about an hour but the good thing is since they don't do loaner vehicles um i well not the good thing but the crazy thing is because they don't do loaner vehicles i had to get a rental through um enterprise which is fine i've gotten many 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 uh rentals from enterprise but this one it just ugh. yeah whenever i get a rental car i'm getting it from the airport so like my deductible oh hold on they're here i gotta go okay they're here bye y'all hey y'all so i just left um my little like meeting with the team um we went to some restaurant just to like go over certain things we ended up getting lunch um i really wasn't that hungry but i got like some pretzels or something but yeah you know i'm new to the team so baby i'm doing all the things like y'all are going to lunch invite me y'all are doing a group activity i'm coming you know that's my way of being part of a team uh or introducing my way into the team so yeah i have to go drop my car off the dealership i hope i really hope that they still take me because my appointment was at 11 30 but i just feel like i'm dropping it off anyway does it really matter and i wanted to bring it later instead of earlier because because um when I pick it up, whether that be Thursday or Friday, I know it won't be in the morning. But if they tell me like, we can't take your car, I promise you I'm gonna go to another dealership because this is my third attempt at dropping my car off. The first two times were their fault because it just, the time, like it ain't just stupid. But now, this time, I will take my car somewhere else. Like, I'm not doing this. And it's Tuesday, so we're probably gonna go to the movies. I go to the movies every Tuesday. Well, I try to go to the movies every Tuesday. Y'all know back when I was working two jobs, like my availability just, I, I don't know. Yeah, so 
I'm gonna reconvene with y'all after I drop my car off because I'm pulling up and they are looking like confused at me. Sorry. Hey y'all, it's a little later. I came in the house. Um, I was talking to my mom and dad for like an hour and a half. But guess what? We're going to see Annie. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. If y'all know me, y'all know baby Annie. Annie is one of my favorite movies and my mom put me on Annie when I was a kid. So like that's our thing. So when I went to see The Wiz a couple weeks ago at the Fox, I was like, oh, Annie's coming. Like, hmm, I should go see that. But I was just like, I want to pay for that ticket, baby. I just paid rent. Like, I don't pay for no Annie ticket. But I was on the phone with my dad and I was telling him like, yeah, you know, Annie or whatever is coming to the Fox. And he was like, well, how much are tickets? And I'm like, not that much. Girl, he bought the ticket. I was so excited. I'm so excited to see Annie. Like, uh, y'all don't know. But then we talked about that. We were also talking about, um, we were talking about Christmas trees. Cause I need, an, I need a Christmas tree. But like, I didn't know, I've never bought a Christmas tree before. I have no idea. Like, what does flocked mean? What does the hinges mean? What does the branches mean? Like, what's a good branch? Like, what's a good fake tree? What's a bad fake tree? Like, all these things that I just didn't know. He didn't know either. My mom knew, like, the branch. So she explained to me, like, this is a good tree. This is a probably a skip tree. Like, I don't want, like, a Charlie Brown tree. But I also don't have the space for, like, a grand tree either. But I think, so... Hold on. I was going to put my tree. Let me show y'all. Easier this way. So originally I was gonna put my tree like right here in this corner, right? But the problem is my bracket for my TV goes like up down tilt. It doesn't go side side. So it will be essentially blocking a part of my tree. Unless I bring it out with some. I don't know, but it will be blocking right here. But right here, I wanna put the bar. But because I don't have a bar here right now. I might put the tree here just until we figure it out so I don't know that's I'm just looking at different trees I was looking on at home Target Macy's um, the one that I wanted from Target is sold out boo but like Macy's have some good ones that are like 321 like I've, I've actually I've realized that I want it to be 7.5 feet tall I think yeah then I was like oh I want a white tree but I don't want the white tree to look like eh you know sometimes it's like I feel like white trees can go either way 600 clear lights I feel like sometimes white trees are cute but then other times they're not it is Tuesday so we're gonna go to the movies a little later um I was gonna see Beyonce a Renaissance, but I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna wait because I don't wanna be in an as crowded movie theater right now. I just don't feel like it. So I'm probably gonna see the Hunger Games and then I'll see Beyonce next week. Um I do need to edit today's vlog. It's like almost six o'clock. And my plan was to go to Starbucks and I was only going to Starbucks because it was a triple star day. And I was like, hmm, I can go get some points. But now that the sun is going down. Am I really going to walk to Starbucks? Probably not. See, this is the... Okay, so let me tell you about my dilemma. If I walk to Starbucks, I would have to walk back. It's going to be like pitch black dark, which I can do. I've walked in the dark before, but like, do I want to? Then if I drive, I'm going to have to drive back. I could just drive to the movies, but then I would have to be taking my laptop to the movies with me. I don't want to do that either because maybe they break into cars and I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go to the AMC Phipps maybe they break into cars I can't I, my car got broken into twice at Phipps One, my car got broken into before at Phipps when I used to live here so I don't even play I don't even play like that like I don't put nothing in my car and I got this rental too no ma'am um but yeah I'm trying to find a Christmas train so that's what we've been sitting here doing and I really need to I really need to um, get out of here. But do I really want a $300 tree? That's another thing. Christmas trees are expensive, especially the fake ones that look real. 
then I wanted one that had like little white snowflakes on it girl who wants to spend who want to buy me a Christmas tree who want to buy me a Christmas tree <laughs> all right y'all let me stop playing so I can edit because I need to go edit today's vlog and get it up before I go to the movies and the only way I can do that is if I edit it now so yeah I was looking at pictures from Thanksgiving and like from TMI but like I was on my cycle so I was extremely irritable I was tired because I had an early flight like I got there on I went home on Wednesday and my grandmother had came down and like my mom was talking to me like everybody wanted in my eyes something like when you go home they ask you to go to the store they ask you to they ask you to go to the store they ask you for like little things so that to me was just like i was just so irritated like and then my grandmother wanted to cook with me but i was like laying down so i was like half sleep so i was just like bruh everybody wants anything but then like once again i felt convicted and i'm like girl like you don't live here anymore and you need to cherish these moments but i want to talk to y'all because like everybody always says cherish the moment cherish the moment but like really learn to cherish the moment and not only cherish the moment but like be present in the moment like i was only home for wednesday through saturday like these are memories that i'll cherish forever and like my grandmother and i cooked um, some desserts together against me wanting to and she wanted to get a picture um, she wanted to get a picture so my mom took the picture and even though I was being you know me it still is good to look back and have those memories like this is something like put this inside this box what are you teaching her to make mom oh she's going to make Candy yams, and she's gonna make potato salad. She is. She's gonna make baked beans. <laughs> they ain't gonna be in the kitchen that long. <laughs> and she's gonna make what else? I say. We already made the pie and cake. Oh, we gotta do the ribs. We got some <laughs> ribs in there, but the ribs are easy. It's mainly the sauce. I'm about to put the ribs in the oven now. Why we got that top shelf? Don, when you make your, your when you have your party, you commit this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's gonna cater, but. In the meantime, the main thing about it is to teach her the basics so that she will be able to cook something at home. Because young girls today really don't know how to cook. So it's good to know something. Even though you get catering, you may, you and your mate, you may want a home meal cook. I mean, a home meal. He's by my home cooking woman. <laughs> what? Yeah, but you never oh, know. No, not for real. Some, some, some men do like you. This is something that I will probably, it's something that I'll probably frame and put on my wall because like, I'm so blessed. Like some people don't even have a grandparent. And my mom used to always tell me like, you better be nice to me. Some people don't even have a mom. Like, and I get it. You shouldn't say you like, you don't have to put, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to do that. But it just, as an adult, those cooking with her for two hours, an hour and a half tired or not like I don't live in the same state as my grandmother I haven't lived in the same state as my grandmother for a very long time so like the moments that I do get with her are, are super important so I'm talking to me myself but I'm also talking to y'all so if you do get a moment and during the holidays it's so much like I get it it's about giving and it's about like gifts and stuff but like take some time to like love on your loved ones and spend like present time with them not time where you with them which really on your phone you don't want to be there like you spend your time with them because you just never know when the last holiday will be like you know i can't even i know death is a uh, death is inevitable but like i can't imagine i can't imagine when whenever my grandmother does pass god oh, jesus whenever she does pass and but I know I'll have these memories with her. So, yeah, that's why. <sighs> just, I got a little emo just thinking about it because I'm like, you know, sometimes people don't want to answer the phone. Like, you seem so busy to answer the phone. Like, you get too busy to text somebody back. Like, don't get too busy. Like, be present. For real. Because you just never know.
So with that being said, I'm gonna call my grandmother because <laughs> I wanna see what she's up to and I do miss her. Hi, Nook, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, I called you the other day. I'm oh, sorry. I think was working. I think, uh, yeah, I was, but I meant to call you back. Oh, that's okay. That's the, I mean, I know, I know you be busy. You're a working girl, you got responsibilities, you got <laughs> bills now. <laughs> how you feeling? Uh, you know what? I was doing great, and then today, all of a sudden, I got hit with, I don't know. I was down maybe for the hour, but you, I keep going. I, I went to the store. I said, uh-uh. Well, you need to rest out. if you don't feel good. Why did I change my clothes and, like, this wave of, like, tiredness? Like, that's okay. And that's not like me because y'all know if you know i go to the movies every tuesday like tuesdays are my movie days but like i just it just wasn't meant it just was not meant so i probably will go see renaissance later this week maybe i gotta see how i feel but yeah well i tried to go to the movies it's not gonna work so i'm about to finish um my the yesterday's vlog just uploaded so i'm about to um make it public and i think that's it yeah make it public and i'm gonna read my book because i have not read my book today right now i'm reading all hope is found by sarah jakes i got this when i was at women evolve um because i read her last book yeah i read her last book and yeah, so I'm going to sit here, finish, upload this and finalize it and then read for like 30 minutes. It's nine o'clock, so read for 30 minutes. I'm heating up that food I had, so yeah, I'm going to chill because I really want to get up. Sorry, I really want to get up and go to the gym tomorrow morning with Gian at eight. And I have not been able to, so yeah i don't know i just haven't been to gian and i really want to go i want to work out i really want to work out i want to be in the bed mm, by 11. i think 11 is a decent time because i want to get up at seven i really want to get up at six like i really want to really 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 want to get up at six will we i don't know for a long time i was consistently getting up at six when i first moved the first like three weeks i was getting up every morning at like 6 6 15. now i'll be getting up maybe 7 30 8 o'clock like and i really want to make getting up really realistically speaking before 7 a.m so like in a perfect world that's like 6 6 30 before the end of the year because i really want that to be a thing so I'm trying to maximize my days. Um, yeah. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. We just ate the last of our spaghetti. That's the best thing to make, that spaghetti. Because, honey, when I tell you that lasted me from Friday to Tuesday, granted, I ate out two days. But <clears throat> that was a perfect thing. So let's clean my kitchen so I can go get in the bed. It's 10, 21, and I said I want to be in the bed by 11. So let's go. I am about to go get in the bed. I literally just spent like 45 minutes trying to find this video on TikTok because I found a video and I freaking thought I saved it, but Toria caught me and I did it and I couldn't find it. So I am going to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas.